assalamu alaikum guys what's up what's going on today i'm back with another optimization video of valorant yeah exactly i'm back with another optimization video now in this video i'll show you how to uh, extra gain fps in valorant right now let me show you first of all what actually i'm getting from my gpu and my computer from my specs just right click on this pc and then go here into the properties as you can see i have 6 gb ram and it's i5 3470 um, means i5 third generation cpu and if you talk about the graphic card then there's no doubt it's a bad graphic card for this game especially because it's not powerful let me show you here system information and now as you can see it's g4 gt610 now what actually it have memory interface is 64 bit and memory bandwidth is 12.48 gb that's not good enough like 128 at least you should be for valorant and uh, if it's more than this that's great and then uh, i have only um, one gb of graphic card so that's not enough one gb is not enough it's enough if in case if you have ddr4 or 5 and with uh, memory interfaces 128 28 or above than this then you have a good graphic card now um, you need to download this valorant fps pack 2022 and then extract it in a folder when you extract it in a folder you will easily find it again now in this case in this section after opening this uh, the first one is here reset network in case if you are disconnecting again and again then you can try this one the red network uh, reset network it will reset your ips the catches cookies and as well the dns uh, and then register dns again on your pc so that's mean your identity will be refreshed and uh, after this it will automatically close you don't worry about this it will close automatically just minimize it and now simply just don't open this don't uh, register this first you need to go here into the registry optimization and then first go into the hibernation so you need to turn off your hibernation system now these are not actually uh, affect your fps but further we are tweaking then these to be uh, then these things are important so you need to just do this now 26 hex just apply this and then disable gpu energy drivers now it will improve your gpu latency performance disable power throttling that's also work with your cpu exclusion full screen will provide you a better uh, smoothness fix mouse delay definitely your mouse response time will be improved with this registry file now the last one is valorant high priority valorant high priority means whenever you launch your valorant game it will automatically adjust the high on high priority so this is important for you after this you can also try the msi afterburner as i said it will improve your um, performance but by default it should be here somewhere okay you need to increase on the maximum performance and then click here on the one and then click on check to save this these settings now right now it's not working here you can see because i have a lot of work before so you should need to restart first after applying the msi after partner overclock clocking and uh, don't worry it's a safe you can also set your fan speed if it's working with your uh, msi offer burner otherwise just check this option and then check it that's it guys today for this is enough you can boost maximum performance with these settings if still you have any question just, then let me know the last se setting is here just go into the uh, root games then uh, valorant then live then shooter games then binary then windows 6 win 64 and find here the win valorant win 64 shipping 
just right click on it go properties once you are going to the capability modes now disable full screen optimization so it will provide you a better performance as well just click on the change high dpi setting and check this option over high ride override high dpi scaling behavior scaling performance uh, system enhanced so make sure set it on application and click on ok apply ok that's it guys i hope you like this video try this and let me know your feedback does it fix your dropping fps issue or not um, for me it's fixed for me for myself and uh, it's providing me a stable fps but anyways if you have any question related to the optimization or any other game that you want to play and you don't know how to optimize then let me know in the comment section so i'll make video on it till then just take yourself a laugh is bye bye